Now, I just showed you very quickly the display manager. Let me go back to that. I'm still in the XFCE session that I jumped into. So I'm going to log out here and we're going to go back to the display manager. There are a handful of display managers that you might run across. This one is the display manager that comes installed by default. As I said, there are a handful of them. There's the display manager for KDE. There's XDM for the X display manager. There's GDM for the GNOME display manager. There's also LightDM. And you've got some capabilities here. So I've got where I can change my session. I could do a remote logon here if I wanted to. I could do a guest session. I can go up here and change some of my capabilities around accessibility. So I've got an on-screen keyboard, high contrast, or a screen reader. I can change my networking. I can change my keyboard. And of course, I've got, you know, battery sound and the date and so forth. I can also use some power functions. So suspend and restart and shutdown, for example. Normally, what you're going to do is you're just going to log on. And actually, what I've got my system set up to do is to auto log me on because really I'm just using this virtual machine for doing this set of videos and doing this training. So I'm not really worried about other people coming up to my system, booting it up and getting in as me and doing things. You can actually set it up to auto log you in if that's what you want to do. That's something that I did at the point where I was doing the install. And as I said, you can log out anytime you want. If there were other users on here, I could log in as other users. My user happens to be the only user that's on here. And of course, I can just log in. And I'm going to make sure that my session is changed to be the Ubuntu default, which is the Unity session that we've actually been working with so far.